Hey, what's good? I'm professional shooting coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And if you don't have a hoop, that's no problem because today I'm giving you five shooting drills you can do anywhere without a basketball hoop. Now, one of the questions I get all the time is, hey, Coach Colin, I want to work on my jumper, but I don't have a hoop to do it. And I totally get it. Depending on where you live, you might not have gym access and maybe the parks get too cold. So we want to have some things and some you know, shooting drills that you can use to get better if you don't have hoop access. But before we jump into it, click the top link in the description down below, get free instant access to my quick draw shooting workout that you can use if you really want to take your jumper to the next level. I put this together specifically for you to help you get a more consistent in-game jump shot and a faster in-game jump shot. So I got to do, click the top link in the description down below to get it 100% free. Now, the first drill you can do is what we call wall shooting. Now, what's great about this drill is you can do it on any space where you have a tall wall. Could be the outside of an apartment building, could be, you know, a warehouse close to where you live, whatever it is, you just want to find yourself a tall wall. And all you got to do for wall shooting is you're going to start away from the basket and you're always going to start with, or away from the wall, and you're always going to start with shot prep. So basically meaning I'm working on this drill, I'm working on spinning the ball to myself and getting ready to shoot as quick as I possibly can as soon as I catch it, right? From right here, what I'm doing is I'm finding a predetermined spot on the wall. I want it to be at least 15 feet up, if at all possible. And I'm gonna go into a little two-handed form shot trying to get it high to hit that exact same spot. So it looks a little something like this. Spin the ball to myself, foot prep, load, spring, shot. Let it bounce once, load, spring, shot. Each time I'm trying to just let it bounce once as I load up into my next one. We're really working on that flow and momentum and quick spring into our jump shot. So a thing you wanna think about on this one is number one, you wanna pretend like the ground turns to hot lava as soon as you touch the basketball. So as it comes off the wall, as soon as I touch it, it's hot lava, I'm springing up as fast as I possibly can. The next key you wanna think about is keep your arc high. For this one, we're trying to over exaggerate and get as high of arc as we can. If you're shooting the ball and it's only going like eight or 10 feet up the wall, something like this, that means that we're not getting enough arc and it's not gonna translate into real game. So think quick feet, hot lava, and get a nice high arc on that wall. All right, so the next drill up we've got is line shooting. Now line shooting, all you need is a straight line or an imaginary one if you can't find any. And basically you are gonna do practice shots moving down in a straight line. Now what you can do is you can use sidewalk, you can use the lines on a tennis court or maybe a racquetball court if you can get into a gym. But basically we're just looking to keep the ball straight on our release. So it looks a little something like this. I'm gonna start on the line. I'm gonna use a half court line since we're in the gym for right now. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the line on the inside of my dominant foot. So since I'm a right-handed shooter, I'm gonna put the line just inside my right foot. From here, we're gonna spin the ball to ourselves, a little shot prep, we're gonna catch, and we're just gonna spring into a little two-handed form shot and try to get the ball to land on the line about 10 feet in front of us. So I'm spinning it to myself, I'm catching, and I'm getting a shot up, trying to get it to land. I'm gonna let it bounce once, then I'm gonna quickly catch, do the same thing. Just like wall shooting, we wanna spring as fast as we can, pretend like the ground's turned to hot lava. Now, another key to think about line shooting is we wanna get high arc. Right? This is a great drill because you can tell if you're getting high enough arc depending on how the basketball bounces. So if I throw it up and I do my two-handed form shot and it bounces pretty much in the same spot, that means that I'm getting optimized arc. If I throw it and it bounces and the second bounce bounces forward, then that means that I'm too flat, I'm not getting enough arc on my shot. So try to get the basketball to bounce in the exact same spot where it hit the first time, right? So for this one, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go down the line, I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna get another one, and really kind of focus on keeping that ball straight as I'm moving down the line. Now the key here is don't shortchange your uh, arc on your jumper. 99% of the times, the first time I have you know, players do this drill, they go like this, they spin the ball themselves, and then they go, they get so obsessed with hitting the line perfectly that they forget to actually get the ball into the air. So what I want you to do is get the ball arced like 15, 18 feet in the air, really let it up there. That way, that's where you're gonna see a lot of improvement when you get into actual game shooting.
All right, the next drill up, we've got chair shooting. Now this is a variation of TV shooting that you've probably heard before, where you lay down on the ground and shoot the ball up in the air. And it basically does the exact same stuff, but it gives us a more optimized mechanics and more kind of realistic mechanics. So TV shooting, you've probably seen in the past, is where a player lays down on the ground. They do one of these, I'm gonna try not to lay on the mic. Ugh. And then all they do is they shoot the basketball up like this. Now I like TV shooting because you are working on your wrist snap, you're working on your control, that's all fine and great. But the problem is the arc that you're working on and the mechanics is basically pushing straight out away from your chest. If I was to sit up and do this exact same motion, we're basically working on this, right? From a shoulder angle. So from a shooting standpoint, we can optimize that and make it a little bit better by sitting on a couch, sitting in a chair, something like that. So we wanna do the exact same drill, but we're gonna load the ball by the inside of our knee, sit out on the edge of a chair or of a couch, and then as you bring it up, you're gonna shoot it in the air and let it bounce once, just like that. Up, let it bounce between your legs, catch. You know you got a good one if each time it comes right back to you and you go back up into your shot. Now, if you're living in an apartment complex or something like that, and you don't want to you know, make the neighbor below you mad, you can catch the ball and not let it bounce. So you can do the exact same thing, but as it goes up, you can catch it back out in front of you. So you can get the exact same action without the bounce. It's just the bounce is kind of nice to get that rhythm and that flow into the jump shot. So it's basically like TV shooting, but now instead of having the release straight away from our body like this, we can bring it up and it's looking like a more optimized shot. All right, so next drill we got is shot prep shooting. So this is kind of like line shooting, but we're adding a back and forth action to it. So for me, I'm gonna use two lines in the gym. I'm gonna use these pickleball lines, but for you, you can use anything. You could be out on a tennis court. You could use lines on the sidewalk, however far they need to be. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a two-handed form shot going one direction. We're gonna let the ball bounce once. As it does, we're gonna get shot prepped, ready to shoot the opposite direction. So what we're working on here is our off ball footwork getting ready to shoot before we actually catch the basketball. So it looks a little something like this. I'm going gray line to gray line. I'm gonna spin the ball to myself, I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna let it bounce once and I'm gonna get my feet around on it and shoot it back the opposite direction. Each time I'm getting low, springing back and forth, just like that. Coming around, boom. So you can think about it almost like I'm shooting coming off of a screen, right? Let's say we're on the court down here and I'm setting up my cut. Huh and I'm coming back around, I'm working on this action right here, getting my body turned, getting ready to shoot into the jumper. So again, you can use any set of lines you got, or you can even get some little chalk and do it in your driveway. Whatever it is, we're just working back and forth, getting that shot prep. All right, so next one we got is triple tap slow motion. Basically, we're just working on loading our hips and getting our, the ball and our hips to move together at the same time for that perfect flow, perfect fluidity. So it looks something like this. You go any open space you got, driveway, sidewalk, whatever it is, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna triple tap your thigh, hop three times, so I'm going one, two, three, and then I'm going slow motion into my jump shot. So my three taps are fast, and then my shot is actually slow. So it looks something like this. I'm going one, two, three, slow, just like that, catch the ball. Same thing, one, two, three, slow. Each time what I'm working on is the ball and hips want to extend at the same time. One, two, three, ball and hips together, slow into the jump shot. We're really just working on those micro mechanics, allowing the ball and our hips to move together. That way, once we get into actual game play, it's really consistent and it's easy to replicate. All right, don't forget if you wanna get my quick draw shooting workout so you can get a faster jump shot and a more consistent jump shot, all you gotta do is click the top link in the description down below. And after all, it's 100% free. And if you're new to shot mechanics, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell notification because we're putting out a ton of videos that are all gonna help you better. And if you wanna help us out, go ahead and hit that like button and then hit the comment section down below and let us know what sort of video you wanna see next. This is a channel for the people, by the people, and we run pretty much everything I have a request, so leave it down below and hopefully I'll be able to get to it. Again, my name is Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on.